holster. Expensive mag patches. Oh boy, you know, I'm new enough to things like guns, knives, outdoor gear, that when you throw in something like a big tactical rig like this, uh, yeah, you just can't expect too much from me. I'm the late Boy Scout, guys, and I'm going to try to give you my review on the Spec Ops Modular Combat Bandolier, or the MCB, as they sometimes call it. If you want some professional uh, advice and opinions on this type of gear, uh, you're going to have to look elsewhere. If you want a noob's perspective, then stay tuned, because that's exactly what you're going to get. I am a tactical noob, and I've got a little bit of experience with this rig, not a lot of experience with others, um, and yeah, let's let's get into it. This is part of Gear Buyers Guide slash Gun Websites' uh, cool project where they're handing out, well, passing around a little bit of their gear, the stuff they've collected and amassed over their uh, years of doing this YouTube stuff. They're passing some of it around to other YouTubers like myself and a small handful of other guys to do some assisted reviews on. They want to get our perspective on this stuff. And more than that, they want to, at the end of this, when we're all done sort of passing this stuff around and checking it out, we're going to send it back to them. They're going to sell it all on eBay and donate the proceeds to the Wounded Warriors Project. A very, very cool project that Gear Buyer's Guide and Gun Websites has set up here. So let's get into it. Let's talk about what we have here. Basically, this is, as I said, a bandolier. It, uh, th throws over your shoulder, you throw this over one shoulder, this hangs down on the opposite side, and it uh, hangs kind of like a messenger bag. In fact, it's got a gigantic pocket here. Gigantic? No, not really. But a nice, good-sized pocket here, all kind of uh, uh, coated with this uh, sort of a nylon material, it feels like. Um, probably somewhat waterproof, possibly completely waterproof. I, I can't really say with this enormous, massive zipper. Do you see that thing? It's bigger than my thumbnail. Goodness gracious, that's gargantuan. Molly on both sides, so you can you can fill this thing up with all kinds of gear over here. Well, not all kinds, but you know, a fair amount of gear on this side. Then also a fair amount of gear on this side. And this can be a grab-and-go system that you could throw over your shoulder in addition to other systems that you might happen to be using at the time. Let's say you're running an all shotgun system and this is your pistol rig or this is your AR rig or your AK rig or whatever the case. Or maybe this is your medic rig. This is the stuff that you carry um, that's all your medical supplies. Maybe that's what you are. Maybe you, you're doing medical stuff. And um, you want to have all that stuff ready to go, ready to rock, but also at the same time have something that you can switch up in the future if, if ever needed. This might just be what you need. In addition to having that, uh, the option to throw that over your shoulder and hang that on your, uh, your opposite side, here you go with a nice little waist uh, band, little uh, clips in, very, very tough, very strong clips on both sides, both ends, so whichever, you you know, whichever end you decide is more comfortable to switch it to uh, and snap into and out of, um, you can do it. Wow, that was really hard. Hard to snap and unsnap. I think that's the one that's been snapped the least. That's a tough one. Completely adjustable here, of course. And also, bandolier is, you know, so you can bring this up, up as high as you need to, bring it down as low as you need to. And uh, I've been taking this, I took this out into the desert for one um, excursion with my buddy Crockett 20 and my other buddy Snow Lobo 95. And we spent some time trying out this rig and a handful of other things. And you're seeing some of that in footage right now. And we all enjoyed it. I mean, it's, uh, it's a decent little rig. You know, it's fairly versatile. Uh, right now I'm wearing another, um, another pouch on here, also made by Spec Ops. And all I've got in there is a little 1022 magazine, because, you know, I don't own an AR or an AK right now. Uh, here's my Glock 26 in this inexpensive um, holster. And also a uh, Glock 17 magazine in this inexpensive mag pouch with also the Super Tool 300. Now, I don't have a second Glock 17 mag, otherwise I'd have that in there. Uh, document pouch, as I mentioned, or, you know, we sort of use this as something of a, a dump pouch. As we were going, we dropped some of our spare magazines, our empty magazines in here as we were running around out there in the desert in the snow. Um, it worked fairly well. Not, a, not really meant to be a dump pouch, but 
in a pinch, it works. You know, you can cram your stuff in there. It's not so much, it's not the speedy kind of just grab it and drop it and it's, and it's in there. You've got to sort of, since this is kind of right and close to your body, you've got to sort of mash that down in there. There are a couple different ways you can wear this, as I mentioned. Um, well, I started to mention that you can wear it over your shoulder and hang it like a bandolier. You can also wear this around your neck and then wear this entire thing directly in front of you. Um, I tried that out, didn't find it very comfortable. Crockett 20 also tried that out, and here's his uh, feedback on that. I'd prefer it up here in the front, but the way this comes up around your neck, it just feels strange. It doesn't feel very comfortable. It feels Let's a little have a look bit at awkward. That. You see that big fat strap is leaning right up against his neck, and it just doesn't feel right, does it? No, it feels very strange. I like this placement better. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, as far as that feels so much better yeah. for, for the strap. Yeah, and you can still get it somewhat in front of you. Even though neither of us really found this to be comfortable around the neck, uh, it's quite comfortable when it's just riding on your shoulder. So that, uh, that padding is quite durable, feels extremely tough. This uh, 1000D Cordura uh, feels awesome, it feels incredibly tough and uh, I expect it to last a very long time and it is comfortable. As you examine this thing you'll find outstanding stitching job throughout and everywhere you look it's just overdone. It's an overdone stitching job so you, you can expect uh, some some real durability from a piece like this and I would hope so because you're not uh, you're not paying chump change for this. This thing is about eighty dollars and that's without anything on it. Yeah, just completely naked, this thing is 80 bucks. That's, again, that's uh, straight from the Spec Ops website. If you shop around online, you may find it for less. Do your best, but uh, like I said, 80 bucks brand new from Spec Ops. Is that worth it? Well, you know, again, I'm a totally a tactical noob, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any idea if that's a good deal on something like this. It seems a little bit limited for that price. Uh, well, you know, a little bit minimal. Let's put it that way. It feels a little bit minimal for that price. However, it, it does feel extremely durable and, you know, some outstanding quality here. And having worn this for a little while out in the desert, run around in it, and used it for some of the things it's meant to be used for, uh, not the full gamut of what it can do, obviously, but a fair portion, I can tell you that this thing... Boy, I trust it. I just do. I trust it. I think that this is going to be a, a tough system. And if you're looking for something that uh, is pretty minimal, um, that's not meant to hold absolutely everything, that's meant to hold a handful of things and hold them very, very well and hold up really well, this could be what you're after. So check it out. The Spec Ops Modular Combat Bandolier. It's worth a look. I'm the Late Boy Scout. See you guys later.